Hello everyone, my name is John and I have a very important question for you. Do you worship a triune God and if so, is it the true God? What did God say about the Jewish people in Isaiah 43 verse 10? He says, You are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. Here God clearly tells us the Jewish people are his witnesses. How can they be his witness if they don't know him, if they don't know that he's a triune God? Furthermore, our Messiah tells a Samaritan woman in John 4, 22, You worship, you know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Again, our Messiah is telling us the Jewish people know who they worship. The only thing that they didn't realize was who the Messiah was. And the Bible tells us that they were blinded to it for our sake, for the Gentiles' sake. They did not realize that salvation was coming to the Gentiles as well. That was the mystery. Not that God is a triune God. See, if the Jewish people do not realize that God is triune, then they do not know God. And both the statements made by God and the Messiah would be untrue, and we know that's not so. So if you're a Trinitarian and you're watching this video, I pray that you please go to God and pray for you know the wisdom and understanding and truth. Tell Him that you want to know Him. You want to know the truth. And, and reread your scripture. Reread the Gospels and the Old Testament as well. Who does God say He's sending? Does He ever say He's going to send Himself? He said he's going to send a prophet out of the, you know, out of the people. He's going to send a uh, someone from the seed of David. He said he's going to put his words in his mouth. Did our Messiah speak the words of God? Yes, and this has confused many people into believing that he himself claimed to be God. So, please, like I said, I urge you to pray on this. And also, I challenge you to please look up the Council of Nicaea. I want you to study the character of the people who went to that council. What, what was the big discussion about? What were they trying to figure out in the council? And also, why did it take some 80 years to even include the Holy Spirit in there? The whole you know, uh, Trinity did not come about for, you know, a good 80-year gap. First thing they did was decided that Jesus was also God. But like I said, I challenge you, please study it first. And then see if you really want to hold on to this doctrine of man or do you want to hold on to the Word of God, the Word that says that the Jewish people know Him. And then I challenge you to look and see who do the Jewish people worship. May God bless you with the truth.